Hello. <laughs> <laughs> See, I don't know how to start it. Hey dudes, how's it going? Welcome back to another video. In today's video, we are doing a painting video. And as it's Christmas, I am combining this with a Christmas present that I'm giving to my brother because over the summer my brother gave me some old canvases that he had because he wasn't going to use them but what is on these canvases is something very very cute and special my brother actually was lightly into painting when he was younger and so he has drawn out some designs i mean look at these so we've got a batman theme so we've got batman and wayne bruce wayne anyway so he's got these two there's also a tardis and something blank so i thought it would be a really cute christmas present to paint them and live out his childhood vision for these canvases so that's what we're going to do and then i'm gonna show you his reaction on christmas day let's begin so i'm gonna start by just doing the basic colors so i'm not very bothered about this being exact at this point so right now it really doesn't matter about getting anything perfect we're just trying to get the main blues in and the shadows but if you want to make your paintings look better really simply just make sure to always be filling in these white dots as you go and now we're adding in all those highlights look at that the power of highlights people and now for a black background because it'll make the blue pop and it's easy does anyone notice anything wrong any incorrect window situation it happens to us all folks it happens to us all Great, so we are done with the TARDIS and now onto Batman. So we're really looking at the specific shapes on his face. Every angle, every curve, get that down. Now the thing people often get wrong when it comes to doing skin is that they don't add in all the right colours. You've got your red and you've got your yellow, you've got your white. And then what you get is this. Obviously this is me going off my own kind of skin tone, so it might be different for someone else. But we need the bit of blue in there to just cool it down. So we're actually going more for something like this. I know this is not quite right at the moment, so that's fine, I'm gonna keep working on it. This is bad. <laughs> this is better, better, even better. So always add your blue. Here's the dealio. I didn't even consider that there are different people who play Batman. So I've drawn the Ben Affleck version of Batman. According to my sister, my brother's favourite Batman is Christian Bale. So I can do this as Christian Bale, but it's going to have Ben Affleck's mouth on this side. The other thing is, obviously this is a, I don't know, 10 year old's drawing of a face, which is actually very good for a 10 year old, but it could be more accurate. So do I change it to make it more Christian Bale looking or do I keep it as is with the current proportions and Ooh. tricky 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 I think he'll get the sentimental value of it anyway so I think I'm just gonna go for it and do my best abilities to make it look like Christian Bale the best advice I can give for painting faces is just to pay attention to all those little shadows, all those little highlights and get all of those details really accurately in their own individual shapes because they will all add up to make a really, really accurate face. It's now day three, it's getting close to Christmas and today we're going to tackle the background. I just really don't know what the background's meant to be, partly because I don't have very good Batman knowledge anyway. Bruce Wayne? But I've consulted the expert, my sister, and she has no idea either. So we're going to make it Arkham Asylum, not Ark of Asylum, which I keep wanting to call it. So again, here it's all about shadows and shapes. Every time I draw one shape for one bit of the building, when I draw the next bit that relates to it, is it meant to be slightly higher, slightly lower, or is it perfectly in line? How does that fit? And keep doing that for every single shape, just building up. The last one, I've decided to do a Dalek because for a full series of paintings, it will actually look quite nice and it will mirror the shape of the TARDIS a little bit. Also, doing it in a gold colour will pick up on the different golds in the other paintings. There's not lots to say about doing the building because it's just dark and boring, so I'm going to have to think about how to do that better. Oh my gosh, please tell me 
it's not fantastic. No. Okay. Oh wow! Oh no way! Do you know what they are? Yeah, because I made the outline and I was. Yeah. That's amazing. Oh my gosh! I hate you both. <laughs> oh, that's amazing. So I I drew an outline like that because I thought it'd be really cool. And that's exactly what I was going to do. That's really freaky. I'm blown away. <laughs> Thank you. I'm not crying. I just... I just have motion. Oh, thumbnail, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> what a Merry Christmas this is. Indeed. Even in a difficult time like this. Oh, right, yeah. Miracles can happen. Gemma can not give bad presents one year. What um, are you so, to? like, if you liked it, comment if you want to comment and not, subscribe no, 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 if no, you comment down below no nope. your thoughts comment comment your thoughts comment your comments <laughs> i'm gonna change it yes 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 that's awful outro like if you liked it comment your comments and subscribe if you're new if you haven't already if you haven't already and i'll see you in the next video well i might not but she will all right <laughs>